Hi, in this video we will see how do we expand a binomial using the combination formula. We have seen how to expand a binomial using the Pascal's triangle but if the power to which a binomial is raised is a bigger number then it becomes quite tedious to use the Pascal's triangle. So let us see how do we use the combination formulae to determine the coefficient of the terms in a binomial expansion. Let us take an example a plus b to the power of 2. a plus b whole square is a plus b times a plus b and when we expand it we get a square plus 2 times a b plus b square. If n is the highest power then n plus 1 terms are there. Okay, now let us see the coefficient of each of the term in the expansion. So the coefficient of a square is 1, b is 2 and the coefficient of b square is 1. n is the power to which the binomial is raised and n is 2. Now let us find 2c0. We know the combination formula 2c0 is factorial 2 over factorial 0 times factorial 2 minus 0. Factorial 0 is 1, so factorial 2 over factorial 2 which gives us a 1. 2 choose 1 gives us factorial 2 over factorial 1 times factorial 2 minus 1. Factorial 1 is 1. So factorial 2 divided by factorial 1 times factorial 1 which is 2 times 2 over 1 which gives us a 2. And similarly we find 2c2 which is factorial 2 divided by factorial 2 times factorial 2 minus 2 which is factorial 0. Factorial 0 is 1 so we get factorial 2 over factorial 2 which gives us a 1. And what do we see that 2 choose 0, 2 choose 1 and 2 choose 2 are nothing but the coefficients of the terms in the expansion of a plus b to the power of 2. n is the power to which the binomial is raised and which is in this case it's 2. So a plus b to the power of 2 can be written as 2 choose 0 a to the power of 2, 2 choose 1 ab, 2 choose 2 b square. Okay, we have determined the coefficients of the terms and we know that there will be total 3 terms here. Now the question is how do we determine that the first term is a square, second term is ab or the third term is b square. As discussed earlier also the terms go in the, the first term goes in the descending order of the power starting from the highest power and the second term will go from 0 in increasing order reaching the highest power. So the first term in the expansion a plus b to the power of 2 can be obtained as 2 choose 0 a to the power of 2 the highest power and b to the power of 0. Okay, now the first term which is a goes in the descending order so it becomes 1 and the power of b increases by 1. The second term's power goes in the ascending order and then 2 choose 2 a to the power of 0 and b to the power of 2 and we stop here because we have reached the highest power 2 which is this power. Okay. Similarly, let us try to expand a plus b to the power of 3. We know that there will be total 4 terms and the coefficient of those terms will be 3 choose 0, 3 choose 1, 3 choose 2 and 3 choose 3. Let us write down, let us write down the terms. So the first term will have a raised to the highest power and b raised to the power 0 plus a raised to 1 less than 3 which is 2 and b raised to 1 more which is 1. Then a raised to 1 and b raised to 2 
plus a raised to 0 and b raised to 3. Once we simplify it by applying the combination formula, we see that 3 to 0 is 1. So we get a cube as the first term, b to the power 0 is 1. 3 choose 1 is 3, a square b plus 3 choose 2 is again 3, a b square and 3 choose 3 is 1, a to the power 0 is also 1. So we are left with a b cube. Okay, so if we have an expansion a plus b to the power of n, we know that there will be total n plus 1 terms. Okay, the coefficient of the terms will be n choose 0, n choose 1, n choose 2 and so on till we reach n choose n. There will be total n plus 1 terms and now let us find the terms. So the first term will be a to the power n and b to the power 0 which is just 1 plus a to the power of n minus 1 and b to the power of 1, a to the power of n minus 2 b to the power of 2 and choose 3 a to the power of n minus 3 b to the power 3 plus and so on and the last term and choose n which will be a raised to the power of 0 and b raised to the power of n. So we can expand any binomial raised to any power by using the combination formula to determine the coefficient of the terms. I hope this much is clear to everyone. My YouTube channel Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.